This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 45 of the Orc Gunwagon tutorial. Alright, uh, first, I'm going to start off with the wheel hubs. So, create a box, and make sure you drag it all the way through here. Okay, uh, convert to editable poly, and then just drag it about here. You want to follow these lines right here and go right inside of them. Okay. Okay. Alright, select uh, the main mesh and uh, start hoping that it works. So compound objects per boolean start picking pick. Okay. Actually, control Z. Move. Yeah. Okay. Convert to editable poly, polygon, select that, select that, bridge, okay, now don't freak out, it's not that bad, okay, go into the edge mode, or actually vertex I guess first, target weld that to that, target weld that to that, and that to that, Weld that to that, 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 and let's see what's happening on this side. Oops. Okay, target weld that to that, 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 and just delete that one backspace. Alright, now select each of these individual polygons, use border, and press cap. This is just to clear up any residual errors, so that's pretty disgusting looking. But it doesn't matter, because you're not going to see it, so I'm not even going to worry about it. Because I've had to record this three times trying to get this to work. And it's worked this time, so cap. Okay, there we go. Completely sealed off. And no one is the wiser. Now, go to your front view here, vertex, and take these vertices. You should have four selected and drag them slightly inside. And do the same with these. Slightly inside. Now go over here and create a box right about ooh, here. Okay, drag it up, convert to editable poly, and move this right to about here. Okay, and copy it over here. Uh, mirror it on the x axis. And bring it up over here. Okay. Uh, attach the other piece to it. Go back into perspective. Select both the tops. And this view, shrink them down a bit. Okay, grab the vertices and just move that one over there. And this one back over here. Select the edges here and bridge. Okay. Now vertice. Uh, just drag these straight back in at the bottom. Drag that straight back in. Okay. Now line this up as. Actually, no, leave it out. Give it some thickness, I guess. Okay, so drag these down a bit. Oops. Okay. So we get like an internal 
armor thing going on. Then uh, select the inside polygons here. And we're going to want to extrude them on the local normal just a bit. Okay. And then extrude these down right so they're flush with uh, this line and use the scale tool to flatten them up okay now grab these vertices here and just drag them that way so we hide that and drag these ones this way okay so like this 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 and this and you're going to want to extrude outward to see past the lip there okay mm. next you're going to want to select these bottom polys extrude extrude them straight down okay and then select these polys and uh, oops actually scale them up a bit and move them back up and extrude and just extrude them straight out and push them back up just to make sure they're hidden okay that was a long process now um, Uh, let's create just a, a base wheel here so we know what we're working with. So create a wheel about the same size it should be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight segments. Oops, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, uh, go into the top view here, and it should be the same width as this piece right there. So increase the height a bit. Actually, it can be just a bit less too. This doesn't really matter. Okay. Um. <coughs> now just line it up with your own model. So make sure this is right in the center there, and uh, bring it up a bit, I guess. Well, it'll have to do there. Okay, convert to editable poly, polygons like that. And we're going to want to inset this and find out where it goes. Just extrude, about 50, okay. This thing doesn't make sense right here, it's floating. But I guess that's where a drive shaft is going to go now. So, mm, uh, okay, undo all that, increase the size of that using your bevel tool make uh, a socket almost where a ball could fit in just so that this thing will be able to eventually turn okay uh, next make a sphere here Okay, you can give it quite a few segments, shrink it down, I guess, or bring it out. Uh, that'll be it for part 45. I will see you in part 46.